A Blanchester man is using his gift with a paintbrush to preserve the history of his hometown. Angela Ingram shows us Blanchester is his hometown and has the story. The weather is good for Ronald Keith. It's a peaceful evening to work on his latest mural called The Way It Was. I've been painting all my life. Painting is Keith's passion, and it's also his trade. But what he's working on today is a gift to his hometown of Blanchester. I know everybody. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, it just, it's just a country town. It's just a home country town, and that's what I like about it. The artist has worked in other cities and towns, but creating a highly visual piece here is important to him. I don't always follow my line, but that's okay. Keith takes old photos, makes his own drawing out of them, and then translates it onto a wall. Keith has already completed two other murals in Blanchester. One of them is right here at the corner of Main and Broadway. This one is a tribute to veterans. I'm sitting on a park bench talking to our local historian, and that's entitled Chewing the Fat. Then I did a, uh, another piece down the road, just across the railroad tracks. These works are lasting gifts from Keith to the people who live here, and he's hoping to preserve history by using his talents. Well, it's, it's a, uh, a God-given talent, and I just want to be able to share it with the community that I live in. And uh, I'm hoping that this will bring smiles to each and every one that passes by. In Blanchester, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. He does good work, doesn't he? Keith hopes to have his latest mural finished sometime next month. His plan is to do a few more on the village's public.